SPN presents Love, Hope, and Faith with Heather Murdoch. Good morning and welcome to Love, Hope, and Faith. My name is Heather Murdoch and I'm so delighted to be with you today and I'm we're coming live from Amador County, and today's going to be a very special show. Um, if you've been paying attention to the headlines, if you're in the community, of course, you know about the Butte Fire, and if you're watching from outside of our community, you know about the Butte Fire. It's been in all the news stations and the papers and online, and um, it's uh, we were a part of that. We are Amador County, and Amador and Calaveras County have been... Uh, uh, devastatingly impacted by this fire since Wednesday of last week and uh, it, there was moments where the fire was uh, absolutely um, seemed to be a, a just a, a marching beast that um, with no end in sight and thankfully today we can say it's been greatly more contained than it has been um, as the weather has cooled off, thank the Lord. Um, the rains have come here and there, thank the Lord. Um, it's been just an amazing experience for so many of us in the community. There's been tremendous devastation, but just as always, and which is what this show is about, just as always, God has been present. God has been present. God's hand has been witnessed and God's hand has been shown to others. His love, His mercy, His grace, His compassion. It has not been easy. It's been a very hard time here in our community as many people have lost uh, homes. This morning the report said that um, 233 homes between Calaveras and Amador County, we believe. We don't know. We believe that could go higher. 175 outbuildings burned. Um, 6,000 structures still in danger. Um, this fire is not done yet, but it, it is getting under control, thank the Lord. Um, but I, we want to talk today. I've actually invited my pastor on today to talk about just the God sightings, the the ways that we have been blessed as a community to have the opportunity to come together and love. Um, strangers helping strangers, people opening their homes to strangers for evacuees, um, as thousands of people have been evacuated across our two communities, our two counties. Uh, as as homes have opened, as I said, as churches have opened their doors, as as um, just the community businesses have given things away, restaurants given food, gyms open their places for showers, beauty salons, uh, you know, offering to wash people's hair and let them come in and get cleaned up. I mean, literally hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of people working together um, to, to, to help their fellow brother and sister. And it's been remarkable and hard and beautiful all at the same time. So today to help me tell that story and to talk about what it's like to respond in crisis, to really be Jesus with skin on, I've invited my pastor, Pastor Mark Lehman. Good morning, Pastor. Morning, Heather, how well, are you? Pastor sounds so formal. Hi, Mark. <laughs> Hello, Heather. <laughs> it's good to have you this morning. Thanks for uh, thanks for inviting me. Yeah, we weren't sure if we we're going to do the show because yeah. just there's been a lot of kind of craziness in our community. But last minute, we decided to put it on. I wanted to just hear from you. And there's so many other people to hear from that yeah. have amazing stories of how the church has really stepped up mm -hmm. in this time. Well, I, I think you did a wonderful job just in that opening comments, um, just expressing really finding the good in a very very difficult yeah. and very very painful time in yeah. our community um, I've been here uh, 20 years a little over 20 years now and uh, certainly this is the, the biggest fire we've seen and the yeah. most the most devastating thing for our community and um, I, and I think we we first off we step back and really really take a look and say you know this really is this is a huge thing this yeah. is a very uh, very devastating thing I dropped my daughter off at uh, Amador High School on the way here after they were out of school for two two days or three days, Wednesday, uh, Friday, and then Monday and Tuesday. And, yeah. and KCRA News or Channel 3 News was there filming. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, so it's... it's. Are they interviewing kids and stuff? I don't know. I think they're just kind of filming all the dirty cars or driving back and forth <laughs> from all, yeah. all that. And, and But it was just a reminder that uh, this is something that's 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 not very common, and yeah. we we step back and say, "Wow, we we have been affected. We've mm -hmm. we've been really rocked in a lot of ways, yeah. and you know, people's emotions and people's people's lives have been not just disrupted, but but altered yeah. uh, for forever for yeah. and for many of them." So, I think we we step back first and say, "Let's let's take take a big picture and realize that there is a lot of people affected in ways that uh, not just." Not just the, the the houses that have been lost or the disruption, but there's a lot of emotional and inner inner yes. turmoil that come to yes. reality yes. in a time of crisis. Mm -hmm. That we we step back and say, "Wow, what what is this all about? And how do I respond when 
a difficulty happens again because difficulty will happen again. That's it's called life. Yeah, yeah. life is full yeah. of challenges. I'm reminded of the scripture as in John that says when Jesus says, "In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world." Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. And you know, a lot of the the verses that we as Christians live by and believe and are mm -hmm. in our hearts. You know, um, and we go through hardship too, Christians and non-Christians. We all go through hardship. That's yep. life. Mm -hmm. But you know, when we do have that faith in our heart, we're able to say those things and believe those things. Mm -hmm. In a situation like this though when you have the rubber is really really meeting that broken road right. you know how do you how do you recommend or what's your perspective on how we as believers can minister to people without sounding like we're using cliches <laughs> or pat answers you know what I'm saying yeah well I, and I think that one of the one of the realities is is that we've uh, as a as a representative of the church yeah we in many ways throughout our history we've we've been set apart we've been kind of out of the picture and sometimes yeah, we've yeah. not been part of the struggle and, right um, and sometimes our words have been just words mm -hmm. and on however yeah. good those words are or true even words that aren't really backed by uh action that validates it are just words amen again. amen so i think one of the things that that we've seen in this journey uh is people saying we want to be Flesh and blood, truth, action. That's right. Not just words. That's right. And Mark. just people that that live out what they believe. Mm -hmm. and, and so when we we jokingly talked about this this morning, let's just talk about your title: love, hope, and faith. Yeah. Or love, faith, and hope. Or yeah, yeah. Whatever, love, hope, and faith. Yeah. Whatever you have your order there. And, <laughs> And I think we, we stop back and, and that word love. Uh, love is such a am, ambiguous, such a broad word in our culture. Mm -hmm. But love really is about relationship. It's, a, it's about investing your life. It's about, you know, as, as believers, love the Lord your God, all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbors yourself. Amen. That's the great commandment. Amen. So what we've seen going on here is a lot of authentic loving of our neighbors yeah. that comes from the good that God wants to do in us and through us. That's right. And so I, I would say that one of the things, because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a positive person. I, yeah. I, I, I'm going to find one of your something positive. It's one of my strengths there. <laughs> Positivity there. Yeah. So I, I think one of the things we look for is, okay, what, what, what's going on amidst all the tragedy here, all the difficulty, all the crisis? What's the good that's going on? And, and then when you look for it, you see it. And yeah. You can't replace homes. We well, can replace homes. You, you, you rebuild. You, th you can rebuild. Yeah. And, and sometimes memories are, are, are altered and we lose things that were special to us. And uh, But we have something that's even deeper, and that's yeah. a relationship. And first and foremost, we understand that in the midst, the good and the bad, that truly there is a God who deeply loves us. That's right. And that that's love right. is, is really evidenced as, it, as Scripture demonstrated in Jesus. And mm -hmm. so... The church has got to learn how to be people that authentically love, That's and right. not with not with not with uh, the lens of "I'll love you if you fit in this way." Right. If exactly. you kind of fit how I, but a love that says you are important to God, therefore you're important to me, Amen. and I'm gonna love you there. That so. is a sermon right there. Well, that preach. Can <laughs> that we just tape preach. that and play it on Sunday? Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, I know. Well, so. it, it, what it, you know. We have, been, you know, there's no coincidences in God's kingdom, but we have been as a church really focusing on hunting for the good. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we were talking about that even before yeah. this fire happened, yeah. you know, because that's where you're going to see God because all good and perfect gifts come from mm -hmm. above, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. And so, you know, and then this situation happens. And so having, okay, now let's really through this hunt for the good, mm -hmm. what is happening? Mm -hmm. and, and seeing, you know, like I said in the beginning, the hands and feet of people just sacrificing. Yeah. You know, this morning I even saw a picture of one of the local churches sent out a team of chaplains mm -hmm. and they're mm -hmm. serving at the Jackson Rancheria yeah. which is a big which have done an amazing job yeah. being an evacuation yeah. site for the Red Cross yeah. there but um, you know baptizing an evacuee mm -hmm. in the pool at the Rancheria mm -hmm. I mean, that just blessed me so how, much. How cool is that? It's so cool. You know, it's so cool. I mean, Jesus is yeah. walking among us. Yeah. He is. He is. And I, and I would say um, that even and, and hope people receive this correctly yeah. that Wherever, whoever, and wherever you see or your your own under relationship with God, and whether you are, you know, a, a believer or a kind of like, you know, I don't really care. I mean, the truth is, God still loves you, and God is working in and through you because right. God God wants you to have this profound relationship with Him, mm -hmm. and so that's important. And when we believe that that the God of all creation um, loves us, even in the midst of difficult things, because 
the, the, then our relationship goes deeper and we're able, able to, to, to respond mm -hmm. in the same manner he's responded to us. We love because he first loved us. Exactly. And, exactly. and so that's important. And, and I think that's where we, we, we look for the good. What, what are the loving acts that are happening? Well, I'm reminded of the scripture, Mark, and I can't not remember it right now, but I know <laughs> there's a verse that talks about cry when, they, when, when I cry, or mourn when I mourn, or uh, gosh, I'll look it up on the commercial break. There you <laughs> but, go. You know, just as the body of Christ is to, yeah. to weep when people weep, mourn with them, mm -hmm. joy, and be in joy with them, you know, just to be with them, that ministry of mm -hmm. presence we talked about yep. before yep. the show started. Yep. That ministry of presence mm -hmm. is underestimated. It's powerful just to sit with somebody and be mm -hmm. with them in their time of need, you know. That is, that is again, what God's done. God, you know, John chapter 1 said that God, the, the word Jesus became flesh and dwelt among us. That's right. That's and right. then he said, it's better for me to go to heaven because if I don't go, then you don't get the Holy Spirit. But if I do go, you get my Holy Spirit and I'm with you always. Always, yes. So the, the presence of God with us mm -hmm. and then that reality is then, then we get to be with people. That's right. And be present with them. That's right. And then God is present then. That's right. Thank you, Mark. And We're going to take a break. It's about being Jesus. 12 channel. minutes already? I know. I knew you could fill that up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so grateful you're here today, really, Mark. Oh, my Thank pleasure. you. We're going to be right back. Stay tuned. Three minutes.